Welcome back to Virtual Reality. My name is Thomas and you're watching Wooda the EVR. Today I will show you my personal 10 best games for the Pico 4 VR headset. And I mean standalone games that just run on the Pico 4 without PC. If you want to have a list uh, for the best VR games that on other platforms or on PC VR, then check out the info cards now. Um, now I will show the 10 best games for the Pico 4 and after you watch the video, please write in the comments which is your favorite Pico 4 VR game. That would be very interesting. And as always, thank you to my sponsors, Woodcoast VR, Opperman Events and Virtual Escape. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go! Okay, and to mention that again, this is only about the Pico 4 standalone games, not the games that you can can play via PC when you connect the Pico 4 to a PC. Only the standalone games. So if you want to check out the review of my Pico 4, check out the info cards or the, the description now. So the first game I want to recommend you for the Pico 4 is Blade and Sorcery Nomad. This is a really nice and realistic fighting game with swords and all that stuff. A little bit of magic and it's really brutal. A nice physics engine and um, there, there, there is an update where you have uh, open world and also quests and stuff. So this is uh, really, really nice. And um, yeah, you can play it on the on the Pico 4. Yeah, look at this. You have shields and, and all that stuff. Spears, thousands of weapons, uh, some quests as well. Really nice game. The next one I will recommend you for the Pico 4 is Contractors. This is a um, single or multiplayer shooter with uh, nice weapon handlings and nice maps and so on. And um, you can play that on your Pico 4 standalone. And the cool thing is this game is moddable. So in the main menu there is a mod menu and for example you can um, completely switch that to um, Star Wars. But, uh, for example, uh, with skins or uh, blasters and, and all that stuff and even maps from uh, uh, Battlefront 2. So this is uh, really nice and you can play everything in multiplayer, even the mods. Nice, contractors. And the next one is Demio and this is also really a nice game. I would say it's a board game and um, so you are in front of a desk and there is a, a game. I would say like like this here and um, you, you have to place your uh, characters and uh, it's a round, uh, round based and um, so the first round uh, is for you the second round is for the enemy and then you have to kill the enemy with uh, fights or even with the with these cards that have special abilities and the cool thing is you can play uh, in multiplayer cooperative or against each other and uh, this is really nice atmosphere and graphics i totally recommend this game for the pico 4. the next one is not so relaxing this is green hell vr and that means survival in jungle survival in jungle and um this is really not an easy game. So you really have to check out uh, am I hungry with, with, the, with the watch and all that stuff? Uh, am I thirsty? Do I have some sickness or uh, whatever? And um, yeah, you have to find your girlfriend that got lost in the jungle. And then you have to craft, you have to survive, you have to build your uh, home and stuff. You have to hunt, do quests in this open world. And that is a really nice thing. Yeah, you have to even to fight, do fire, <laughs> crazy. And this is called Green Hell VR. The next one is a music rhythm game. So Beat Saber is unfortunately not on the Pico 4 standalone store, but you can play Pistol Whip. Uh, so Pistol Whip is a really nice um, shooting rhythm game so in the rhythm of the music you will shoot your enemies and that's really crazy look at this it's like a rail shooter here we go straight and then you shoot all the enemies and the better you shoot in the rhythm the more uh, points for your high score you will get <laughs> really nice and uh, yeah you can um, switch for some uh, modifiers two weapons or other weapons or even faster or slower whatever you like and that's really nice. Pistol Whip. 
The next one is a social VR game. It's for free and it's called Rec Room. It's cross-platform. You can play it with other people, with other headsets or even without headset. And uh, yeah, you can hang out with your friends. You can do some silly stuff. You can do games, um, quests, dungeons. You can even build your own homes or so and invite your friends. There is a lot of fun and there are also updates, many, many updates for this game. Really nice rec room. The next one is a little, it's like a, uh, it's, it's a, a abandoned Russian station and you have to find out what's going on there. It's a adventure with some horror elements and some puzzles really nice controls as well and crazy things happen there and you can also play the first part uh, on the pico 4 store and the second part so begin with the first part of course that's um, nice and yeah you see that i i totally love that game it's it's really nice wreck uh, sorry wreck, red metal one and two the next one, I, sorry, I have to show the, the Quest and uh, Steam stores because Pico has no uh, store besides the smartphone. So I have to show other um, pages, but it's the same game. Survival Nation for the Pico 4 standalone. As the name says, this is a survival game, of course. You can do so many stuff. You can craft, you can cook, you can hunt. Uh, there is an open world with quests and stuff. You have to check out, am I thirsty, am I hungry and all that stuff. Uh, find food or whatever. And yeah, that's uh, of course with killing zombies and stuff. You can do that even in co-op mode if you like. A really nice game. I played it on my channel. You can check it out. And the next one is for your brain. This is called The Room VR A Dark Matter. And what does that mean? Yes, you have to solve puzzles. You have to um, solve cases for the London police, as you can see. And yeah, that's uh, sometimes very, very strange what happens. You have to open some chests with thousands of mechanism and so on. Really not easy, I can tell you. Yeah. So take your time with this game to find everything, every clues and stuff. Really nice adventure puzzle game, I can tell you. The Room VR, a dark matter. And the last one I want to recommend you, of course, another zombie survival game. The best zombie survival game, in my opinion. The Walking Dead Saints and Sinners. You can play the first and the second part on the Pico 4 standalone store. Um, this game is really crazy so it's very brutal with the melee fights for example you can hold your uh, hold the zombies at their neck and with the other hand hit the brain and stuff with a with a knife or so it's it's crazy it's brutal it's open world you can craft you you can uh, loot you know, and and stuff do quests whatever and this game is really nice also the story is very interesting with this game you can play it on the Pico 4 store. So guys, that were the 10 games I want to recommend you for the Pico 4. If you um, didn't see the review, as I said, for the Pico 4 hardware, check out the info cards or in the description. And now it's time for you to write a comment. What is your favorite Pico 4 standalone game from the Pico 4 store? Write it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit the bell. And if you want to support me, check out the first pinned comment. You can even support me for free, for example, via my Amazon link. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time in virtual reality. See ya. Voodoo.